It was a fine Saturday morning, and Charles the chicken and his friend Ned the gnat went looking for juicy worms. Oh boy, I've been looking everywhere for a juicy worm and I just can't find any. Ned, what do you think? Well, maybe you should just have some chicken feed. Oh no, Ned, I'm craving a juicy worm. My goodness, what are you thinking? Suddenly, a gray chicken came out of nowhere. A chicken they had never seen before. Oh, hello there, gray chicken. How are you? And the gray chicken pushed some leaves aside, revealing some worms. Oh, hey, thank you, gray chicken. What's your name? But the gray chicken didn't say a sound. Well, these look like juicy worms. Mm, dig in, Ned. Um, I'm a bug. I don't eat other bugs. Oh, good point. Soon, Mr. Gray Chicken led him to a wonderful garden patch. Oh, boy! Delicious! Thank you, Mr. Gray Chicken. You know, for a chicken that doesn't say a sound, you're very nice. Mr. Gray Chicken nodded and walked away. Oh, yippee! Delicious! Well, the next day, Charles and Ned the Gnat went to search for water. I gotta tell you, Ned, there's no water in this water container, and I'm plum thirsty. I just don't know what to do. Soon, the gray chicken arrived. Oh, boy! Yippee! Hi, Mr. Gray Chicken. Do you know where I can find some fresh water? And the gray chicken didn't say anything, but... He wanted the Charles and Nat to follow him, and so they did. It wasn't long before a gray chicken brought them to a big puddle of water. Oh boy, yippee! Well, thank you, Mr. Gray Chicken. Wonderful, you know. For a chicken that doesn't say a single sound, you're the nicest chicken I know. And thank you very much. Oh, mm, I'm so thirsty. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Gray Chicken. And off Mr. Gray Chicken went. Oh boy, Ned, drink away. Mm, mm, mm. You know, Ned, we ought to do something nice for Mr. Gray Chicken. He's been so nice to us. Let's go off and make him a special basket of goodies. And so that is what they did. And they came back with a lovely basket full of vegetables, bugs, and worms, and all kinds of stuff. I hope he likes it. Boy, he's a good friend. And off they went. And it wasn't long before Mr. Gray Chicken came, and he loved his basket. Oh, hello there, it's me, Ali, and today's episode is brought to you by gray letters that don't say anything. Uh-huh, all gray letters. Shh, don't wake them up. They don't say anything, just like our gray chicken. Our gray chicken was a very nice chicken, uh, but he never said a sound. Do you say sounds? No. Okay, thank you, Mr. Gray Chicken. You can see him, but he doesn't make a sound. Okay, and this is a word we've gone over way in the past, and this is cake. Cake. The E at the end, shh, it's in gray, doesn't say anything. Uh-huh. For cake. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, that was a review word. But we have some new ones. I'll be right back. All right, here's a new one. Okay, it has two beats. K, A for apple. K, 
Cass, Cass, oh, Castle. Yeah. See, there's two gray letters: the T and the E. Shh! Don't wake him up. Castle. I want to live in a castle. Oh, Allie. Yes, Jerome. You accidentally put your book in the school's refrigerator. Oh, Jerome, it's a good book. You can read it. No, that's not what I said. Allie, you put your book in the refrigerator. Jerome, that's a nice book. Yeah, that's a good book. Oh, Allie, Allie just will not is list. And listen. She won't listen to me. Uh huh. There's a gray letter. Shh! Don't wake it up. Listen. Oh, I'm going to do some cooking. I need to find my herb. Ellie, that's not herb. That first letter is in gray. Remember, we shh. Don't wake it up, Ellie. Oh yeah, yeah. Jerome's right. It just says herb, herb. Okay, I need to find my herb for my soup that I'm making. So I'll look in the fridge. So Ellie opened the refrigerator. Oh, Jerome, my school book is in the fridge. I tried to tell you, Ellie, but you didn't listen. Oops, sorry. Okay, goodbye. Hi guys, it's time for letter art. Oh yeah. Okay, so you remember our Mr. Gray Chicken from our story. Here's how you spell his name: G R A. This doesn't really say anything. It's in gray. Uh huh. So shh, don't wake it up. G R A. Gray. We're gonna draw him. Uh huh. So get out a dark marker, and here we go. All right, we're gonna start with the top, and we're gonna draw his little hat. Uh huh. There we go. Nice. Okay, we're gonna draw that little floppy thing. Uh huh. And some little textures. Yep. Okay. Now we're gonna draw like the top of his head, his eyes. Go down a little smidge. Okay. Big circle. Half circle. Dot. Dot. Okay. A beak. All right, now we're gonna do a little neck. Okay, go on the other side. He's got a skinny neck. All right, now we're gonna loop around for his belly, his little tail feathers, and meet back up to the neck. There we go. Okay, now we got some feet and one behind, and then we need the wing. Oh yeah! Okay, there's our Mr. Gray Chicken. Okay, so I'm going to play a little joke on Jerome. All right, here's our word: a n a n s. And there's an er. Okay, a n s er. Answer. I'm going to answer the phone and pretend I'm an answering machine, and so he'll get confused. Uh huh. Answer. That doesn't say anything. Shh. All right. Here we go. Hello. Please leave your message after the beep. This is a recording. Ellie, answering machines don't call people. This is a recording. Please leave your message after the beep. Beep. Ellie, you are silly. Oh, oh. Answer. And don't forget our list.